Hello guys, how are you? Let's revise biology 2009, paper 2, uh, Fleum cell. Okay, so we'll answer a number of questions in this series. So let's get started. The question reads, figure 1.1 1 .1 shows some cells taken from a vascular tissue of a plant. Okay, question A. We yeah, are saying asking to name cell cells cells X and Y. Okay. Cells X and Y and the structure label Z. So the answers this is this is question one A. Question one A so cell x remember there's a thing x cell not the not the not the part so cell x is companion cell companion cell okay is a companion cell then cell y cell y so y which is the whole cell this is the phloem okay phloem what phloem cell all right then the next question reads which is question b what are the functions of the cells labeled x and g and y okay so this is question b what are the functions of cells labeled x and y so let's start with the function of x then the function of y so the functions of a companion cell or companion cells you can say they provide they provide energy provide or supply energy to sieve tubes okay to sieve tubes okay so cell so x pro, uh, provides energy to sieve what sieve tube so because companion cells companion cells are living cells all right because in y i mean the function for cell y which is the flow the phloem transports food to different parts of the plant. So this one can say phloem transport transports food transport food to different to different parts of of the plant okay of the plant all right next question next question the question reads okay which is three so this is this one is two so three is saying what are the function i mean what structure in the human body performs a similar function as a structure y all right what structure in the human body performs a similar function as a structure y as the phloem meaning transporting food all right transporting food to all parts of the body which structure does this so the answer is blood vessels blood vessels since the phloem transports food to different parts of the uh, of the plant blood vessels also transports food substances to different uh, parts of the of the body using blood okay let's go to the next question the question reads which is question c What two conditions are necessary for osmosis to take place? What two conditions 
uh, are necessary for osmosis to take place. Now, for osmosis to take place, number one, okay, number one is that there must be there must be two regions separated by by a selectively selectively permeable selectively permeable membrane okay selective member membrane number two is that there must be difference in the concentration there must be difference there must be difference there must be oh sorry must be a difference in the concentration okay between two solutions okay between two what between two solutions so these are the two, two conditions okay there must be separated by a selectively capable membrane number two there must be a difference in concentration between between two solutions okay next question oh that's all to this question so eight marks in total okay oh sorry there is another question that i skipped the question was cell x cell y and structure z so you can say structure Z. Structure Z is sieve plate. Okay. Structure Z is sieve plate. Alright, so that's all to this question.